you guys, I'm here with Nader Rutherford, an amazing candidate for coroner for Richland County. And I have some questions for her. So my first, my first question for you is, what is your biggest drive behind your decision to run for coroner? So in the 14 years that I have been in healthcare, um, I've always been a patient advocate. And one of the biggest things that I see in healthcare as I take care of patients and their families during times of crisis and loss is that they often seem unprepared for what they're going through. And so for me, I think that running for corner allows me to serve my community as I've already been doing in a much larger capacity and be able to reach so many more people um, with public service. Wow, okay. So just, just in case there are some people who may not know uh, what the coroner does, what is the primary function of a coroner? So the coroner is supposed to be a voice for the deceased first and then a voice for the family. They're mm. also supposed to provide the cause and manner of death for suspicious deaths or any death really that happens in the county. If there's something that seems suspicious, then they're supposed to request an inquest to further investigate that death. Now, let's talk a little bit about their collaboration with law enforcement. It's supposed to be a cooperative relationship, but it should not be interdependent upon each other. The coroner is supposed to perform their own investigations independent of law enforcement and they're supposed to use law enforcement as a way to maybe validate or as a way to say hey maybe if someone died in police custody maybe that officer is wrong as we saw in the case of George Floyd mm. and be able to hold the officers accountable for that I'm a huge fan of law enforcement I'm proud to have people that serve and protect us um, but we often know that in any position that you have especially positions of power that there are people that get into the office and they don't always have good intentions but I just want to make sure that people know that I'm not anti-law enforcement but the coroner's office is supposed to be independent of that um, of that entity so that they can perform independent reviews without bias Wow thank you that was a great response and I want to take note of um, the paper the papers that she has here <laughs> and I learned that most of the coroners um, don't have any medical experience um, most of them were a part of the police department in some capacity they were sheriffs um, well there were two that were police officers there's been a jury bailiff um, there are people who have no law enforcement experience at all and they were you know like a, count, a city scales manager or a um, a lot going on behind us, I'm sorry. <laughs> Um, but there there have been people who maybe were not really qualified to, to be in the coroner's race and they were in there because there weren't really these set rules and a few years ago they changed the rules which made it so that people like me who have clinical expertise can actually run for the office of coroner and I'm so humble and grateful to be able to even put my name in the hat for such a huge position for our county. Wow, that is a huge change. So Yes. So, and I think that this is the change we need come in 2020 like it's right. time to revamp some of these old systems and you if you get this chair you would be like the first of this cohort of people who would run right. for this. Position. I would be the first African American, the first female to ever hold the position of coroner for Richland County. Um, if there have been, I know in other counties they've had African Americans as coroners, but in Richland County, I don't, I don't see any evidence where there has been an actual African American or a woman that has ever won the seat. That is huge. It is huge, and, um, especially now, like in the in the unrest that we have in this country. Um, I think it's important to have representation from people that look like you, especially if the people that you serve don't look like you. You should have representation and diversity. Yeah, I'm very big on um, diversity. I'm very supportive of just. It being a black woman, you sharing those intersections of being black and woman, you know what it's like to yes. be on the bottom. You know what it's like to not be heard. Yes. So I'm just so grateful that you have this opportunity. Thank you and, so um, much. I really appreciate it. Yes. And what are some of the other, for some people who may not know you, what are some other causes that you support that are in alignment with uh, your running for coroner? So I've always had a, a huge heart for uh, community service. Um, a lot of people know me from Style by Nada, which is our foundation located downtown 607 Lady Street, where we do homeless outreach, foster kid outreach, adult adult um, protective services outreach and we try to help senior citizens who may need resources and so we have 
been doing things in the community. It's just that a lot of people didn't know that I have been in healthcare for 14 years and that I've worked diligently in healthcare. And so we give out clothes, toiletry items, scholarships, uh, help pay bills. We've done quite a few things in the community. And this wasn't just because I'm running for coroner. We've been doing this for t over 10 years. Yes, and I think it's so important to just have people that actually have a heart for the community and have yes. integrity. Mm -hmm. And um, that was something that Jonathan, uh, your organizing director, yes. spoke of. He was like, you know, her word matches her actions. She's mm -hmm. already out here doing the work. So I'm just so grateful that you are running and I hope you win. I am trying yes. to get these people to vote for you. <laughs> and um, thank you so much for your time. Oh, you're welcome. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. Go out and vote June 9th. Tuesday, June 9th, the polls open at 6 a.m. We can't wait to take over the coroner's office. That's right. Thank Woo! you. <laughs>